एवरीवन मै सेल्फ शिवांगी देसाई योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर द वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग एंड बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज बिग डेटा सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बिग डेटा इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ मैसिव एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स डेटा सेट्स एंड डेटा वॉल्यूम दैट इंक्लूड द ह्यूज क्वांटिटीज ऑफ डेटा डेटा मैनेजमेंट कैपेबिलिटीज सोशल मीडिया एनालिटिक्स एंड रियल टाइम डेटा बिग डेटा इज अ टर्म used to describe a collection of data that is huge in volume and yet growing exponentially with time in short such data is so large and complex that none of the traditional data management tools are able to store it or process it efficiently big data is a technique to store process manage analysis and report a huge amount of variety data at the required speed and within the required time to allow real time analysis and reaction the term big data refers to all the data that is being generated across the globe at an unprecedented rate this data could be either structured or unstructured today's business enterprise owe a huge part of their success to an economy that is formally knowledge oriented data drives the modern organizations of the world and hence making sense of this data and unraveling the various patterns and revealing unseen connections within the vast sea of data becomes critical and a hugely rewarding endeavor indeed there is a need to convert big data into business intelligence that enterprise can readily deploy better data leads to better decision making and improved way to strategize for organizations regardless of their size geography market share customer segmentation and such other categorizations hadoop is the platform of choice for working with extremely large volume of data big data could be found in three forms that is structured unstructured or semi structured first is structure any data that can be stored accessed and processed in the form of fixed format is termed as a structured data over the period of time talent in computer science has achieved greater success in developing technologies for working with such kind of data where the format is well known in advance and also deriving value out of it however nowadays we are forcing issues when a size of such data grows to a huge extent typically sizes are being in the range of multiple zettabytes the example of structured data is rdbms next is unstructured any data with unknown form or the structure is classified as unstructured data in addition to the size being huge unstructured data poses multiple challenges in term of its processing for deriving value out of it a typical example of unstructured data is a heterogeneous data source containing a combination of simple text files images videos etc nowadays organizations have wealth of data available with them but unfortunately they don't know how to derive value out of it since this data is in its raw form or unstructured format and last is semi structured semi structured data can contain both the forms of data we can see semi structured data as a structure in form but it is actually not defined with for example a table definition in relational dbms example of semi structured data is the data represented in an xml file now let's discuss the characteristic of big data the given four are known as big data characteristic it depicts the four v's of big data first v is volume the name big data itself is related to a size which is enormous size of data plays a very crucial role in determining value out of data also whether a particular data can actually be considered as a big data or not is dependent upon the volume of data hence volume is one characteristic which need to be considered while dealing with big data 
second V stands for variety. Variety refers to heterogeneous sources and the nature of data, both structured and unstructured. During earlier days, spreadsheets and databases were the only sources of data considered by most of the applications. Whereas nowadays, data in the form of emails, photos, videos, monitoring devices, PDF, audio, etc. are also being considered in the analysis applications. This variety of unstructured data poses certain issues for storage, mining and analyzing data. Third V stands for velocity. The term velocity refers to the speed of generation of data. How fast the data is generated and processed to meet the demands determines real potential in the data. Big data velocity deals with the speed at which data flows in from sources like business processes, application logs, networks and social media sites, sensors, mobile devices, etc. The flow of data is massive and continuous. Fourth V stands for veracity. Veracity means the quality of correctness or accuracy of captured data. Out of four Vs, it is most important V for any big data solution because without correct information or data, there is no use of storing large amount of data at fast rate and different formats. The data should give correct business values. So to core out, we can say big data has four major characteristic that is volume which stands for very large amount of data, variety that produces data in different format, velocity that produce data at very fast rate and fourth is veracity that is the correctness of data. Now let's discuss the benefits of big data. The ability to process big data brings in multiple benefits such as businesses can utilize outside intelligence while taking decisions. Access to social data from search engines and sites like Facebook, Twitter are enabling organizations to fine tune their business strategies. Second is improved customer service. Traditional customer feedback systems are getting replaced by new systems designed with big data technologies. In these new systems, big data and natural language processing technologies are being used to read and evaluate customer responses. Next is early identification of risk to the products or services if any and better operational efficiency. Big data technologies can be used to creating a staging area or landing zone for new data before identifying what data should be moved to the data warehouse. In addition, Search integration of big data technologies and data warehouse helps an organization to offload infrequently access data. Now let's discuss big data analytics. Big data analytics is the use of advanced analytic techniques against very large diverse data set that include structure, semi-structure and unstructured data from different sources and in different sizes from terabytes to zettabytes. Big data is a term applied to data sets whose sizes or type is beyond the ability of traditional relational databases to capture, manage and process the data with low latency. Big data has one or more of the following characteristics which includes high volume, high velocity or high variety. Artificial intelligence Mobile, social and internet of things are driving data complexity through new forms and sources of data. For example, big data comes from sensors, devices, video, audio, networks, log files, transactional applications, web and social media. Much of it generated in real time and at a very large scale. Analysis of big data allows analysts, researchers, and business users to make better and faster decisions using data that was previously inaccessible or unusable. Business can use advanced analytics techniques such as text analytics, machine learning, predictive analytics, data mining, statistic and natural language processing 
to gain new insight from previously untapped data sources independently or together with existing enterprise data. To core out, big data analytics is a process used to extract meaningful insights such as hidden patterns, unknown correlations, market trends, and customer preferences. Big data analytics provides various advantages and it can be used for better decision making, preventing fraudulent activities, among other things. So there is a huge set of application, so let's get to it. These are some of the following domains where big data applications can be used. So first is entertainment. Netflix and Amazon use it to make shows and movies recommendations to their users. Insurance. It uses this technology to predict illness, accidents and price their products accordingly. Next is education. Opting for big data power technology as a learning tool instead of traditional lecture methods which enhance the learning of students as well as added the teacher to track their performance better. Next is automobile. Rolls-Royce has embraced this technology by fitting hundreds of sensors into its engines and propulsion systems which record every tiny detail about their operation. The changes in data in real time are reported to engineers who will decide the best course of action such as scheduling maintenance or dispatching engineers teams should the problem require it. Next is driverless cars. Google's driverless cars collect about 1 gigabyte of data per second. These experiments require more and more data for their successful execution. Next is government. A very interesting use case is in the field of politics to analyze patterns and influence election results. Cambridge Analytica Limited is one such organization which completely drives one data to change audience behavior and plays a major role in the electoral process. So that's it about this lecture. Thank you.